This gangly looking twig is the middle finger of Galileo, the father of astronomy. And for hundreds of years, he's been flipping us off from beyond the grave. Galileo died in 1642, and he wanted to be buried next to his father in this basilica. However, if you remember back to your middle school history lessons, you may remember that um, the Catholic Church was what was known as upsetty spaghetti of Galileo about the whole, you know, earth spinning around the sun thing. And so, for the next 95 years, Galileo's remains remained in this unconsecrated box underneath a bell tower. Not exactly the highest place of veneration for the famed astronomer. And it was only in 1737, after decades of work from one of his pupils' families, that he was finally moved into that church. And funny enough, whenever it did finally happen, it took on the ceremony of like the transfer of his saintly object. And it was during this very somber and ceremonial transfer of his remains that some of the guys that were involved in it looked at each other and they were like, you want a piece? <laughs> And so, after Galileo had been properly fingered, his remains were placed in the Basilica de Santa Croce to be oogled at by obnoxious, annoying tourists for the rest of time. All of the different body parts moved around to like these different museums and collections until eventually the middle finger wound up in the Galileo Museum. And they really give honor to this thing too because the finger is encased in an egg-shaped glass display above a cylindrical marble base with this very flowery inscription, all while Galileo, just flipping the bird. <laughs> Today, Galileo's middle finger is a rare example of a secular relic, a process that is usually only reserved for Catholic saints. Something that has been pointed out many times is now being done for someone who was at one point in time considered a heretic. British art critic Julian Spalding remarked about the object, I don't particularly recommend going to see it because what's the point of looking at Galileo's finger? <laughs> Nuff said. But that's just one man's opinion. According to the Galileo Museum, which certainly wouldn't have any reason to be biased, Galileo's middle finger represents the celebration of Galileo as a hero and martyr of science, and is considered to be so valuable that it is property of the Italian state. So take that, Julian. But if you still think that Galileo's middle finger in a jar is weird, you should see this video about Frederick Chopin's heart in a jar.